Astral Chain is the incredibly exciting brand new IP developed by Platinum Games coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch. And with the masterminds like Takahisa Taura, the lead game designer on Nier Automata, and supervisor Hideki Kamiya, of course known for things like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, you know for sure this game is going to give you a wild ride. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world. The game launches at the end of this month, August the 30th, and it takes place in a futuristic setting. For those of you that are anime fans, you may kind of get those Ghost in the Shell, Apple Seed vibes, and that is most definitely not unintentional. The game takes place in a setting where mysterious creatures known as Chimeras have appeared out of nowhere and they've spread corruption throughout the city. The Ark is the humanity's last chance of survival, but it's now under attack, and it's now Neuron's job to combat the threat. Neuron are of course this elite police task force separate to the regular police, and this is of course where you as the player step in. You will take on the role of one of the Neuron agents alongside your living weapon called the Legion, and you will use this to fight back the Chimeras. We established control and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. Now up until this point, we've had a couple of trailers and a look at how the gameplay works thanks to some Treehouse demonstrations from E3, but today I really wanna take a deep dive and speak about combat, speak about gameplay, and just really break down exactly what Astral Chain has to offer. One of the first things that makes Astral Chain so unique is the way that you can seamlessly fight alongside your Legion. But of course, alongside that, you also have your own personal actions. You have this police baton, which will become your trusty companion in battle. You can use this to fight back enemy forces, but this can also transform into a gun, meaning you have plenty of versatility in combat. You can attack close, you can attack at range, and you'll of course be using this to fight alongside your Legion. Your Legion can be summoned in battle at any time, and they will initially seamlessly attack alongside you automatically and relentlessly. They are a force to be reckoned with, but they do also have a finite limit. When your Legion is summoned, they will of course have a duration which is displayed in the UI on screen, so good use of these in combat is all about bringing them out at the right time, taking full advantage of them, and learning to manage these cooldowns appropriately. And when half of that body is about to die, the Legion's survival instincts kick in to save it. One of the coolest features, and more more than likely where the game got part of its name from is of course the chain. You and your legion are linked together by this astral chain. And this is not just a narrative hook, this is not just a means to keep them tied to you. You can use this in a number of inventive ways in combat. Most notably, while your legion is something that automatically attacks, it can also be controlled by you. And you can use this to then wrap around enemies to lock them down with chains. This is going to be incredibly useful whether you're fighting small trash mobs, whether you're fighting bigger bosses, because this allows you to lock an enemy in place, trap them, and then give you an opening to dish out some massive damage. This function is known as the chain bind. In addition to this, you have something incredibly cool known as the chain counter. With this, you then take your legion, and when you anticipate an enemy rushing towards you, you physically create a line between them. This then catches them, throws them back, interrupting their move, and of course, creating another spectacular opening. Another incredibly important thing to factor into your combat are sync attacks. Sync attacks are a way to pair up with your legion to dish out even more damage than before. When you're fighting, if ever you see a blue flash, this is an indication that it is time to sync up and team up with your legion. If you perfectly time this, you'll pull off a sync attack, which will then result in these flashy action combos where you and your legion pull off some cool anime madness and, of course, take down the opponents in the process. There are five different types of legions to choose from throughout the game. Naturally, you'll begin with just one, and as you progress throughout the story, you will encounter more. Each of them will serve a very unique and very different purpose. They will, of course, have their own individual combat styles, and it's up to you to determine just which ones you want to use. When you have access to all of them, you are not bound to a single legion. You can swap them on the fly in combat, meaning you really are free to play the game how you like. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it, the ultimate counter-chimeric weapon. 
The Sword Legion is the one you begin the game with, and from all the gameplay we've seen thus far, it's kind of like your jack of all trades. Generally speaking, pretty good at most encounters. It has a humanoid like form to it, it has armor plating all over it, and it has twin blades for arms. This, of course, makes it a close range style legion, good for getting up in the enemy's faces, hacking through them, and in doing so, you're also able to stun enemies in the process. You can also take advantage of the Sword Legion's ability to slash and cut through certain doorways in select levels. Your second legion is the Arrow Legion, again taking on this humanoid-like form with armor plating, but this one has a bow. This is all about long-range attacks, it is not about getting up in the enemy's face, it is not about rushing them down like that, it is instead about making precise choice shots from afar, attacking at speed, and of course, just generally speaking, using your range to your advantage. There will also come sections throughout the games and throughout the levels where you will use the arrow and the bow to trigger switches and activate certain areas from afar. Your third legion, and arguably my favourite one, just because it is literally a legion that allows you to punch your enemies in the face. This one has a much bulkier, again humanoid kind of form to it, but this one is much bigger. Basically, your legion went to the gym, he got hench, and now he can punch people in the face. He is again all about that close range combat, getting up in the enemies' faces, rushing them down, and dishing out damage through a flurry of punches. One of the unique features for the arm legion, however, is that you can also wear it like a suit of armour, and you yourself can then go ham and punch the enemies. You then have the Beast Legion, which is kind of like your robot dog. This, in terms of form factor, is drastically different to all the other ones we've seen. It's also one of the first ones we saw in the original trailer, and this one is incredibly useful because the canine-like form allows it to be very fast, very agile in battle. It can dart between different enemies, attacking them very quickly, and you can also ride it, allowing you to move even quicker, which makes it exceptionally useful when needing to, say, dodge very powerful attacks in boss battles. And then lastly, you have the Axe Legion, again taking on the humanoid form. This one, in truth, the first time I ever saw it, looks much more like, say, a Switch Axe than it does a regular axe, because it's kind of more like a greatsword than that function, but this one wields a hefty, large axe that it can then use to dish out incredibly powerful damage. However, on top of this, it also has the ability to shield you from attacks. So this can be seen, despite the fact that it has a hefty, massive weapon, as your more defensive style Legion. You can use it to fend off some of the more powerful attacks that you really don't want to be hit by. It's also worth noting that while the Legion's primary function may be seen as combat, it can also still be used outside of combat for a variety of different functions. Now, when it comes to strengthening your legion, of course, throughout the game, you will have the ability to spec into the ones you like the best, spec into all of them, and you can, of course, upgrade them in the process. Every single legion has their own standalone skill tree, and these skill trees are pretty in-depth. You can spec down them to focus on certain abilities, focus on certain attributes, and basically just lean into the way that you want to use your legion. You can bolster their abilities to suit your fighting style, and, of course, enhance them in the process. Now, outside of combat, you also have what is known as investigations. You are, of course, a member of Neuron, which is an elite police force, so you're not just going to be going out there attacking enemies, you will, of course, have some police duties to take care of as well. And this is where the investigation mechanic of the game comes in. Your iris is another utility you have at your disposal. This gives you information on your surroundings. It connects to the Neuron database for additional information and guidance, and you can use this to track down clues and solve cases in the process. This will invariably form the interim part of your gameplay. You will go out and solve some cases, you'll begin an investigation, and the lead will then send you in the direction of your next mission, send you towards your target, and ultimately lead towards fighting more Chimera. It's also important to note that during these investigations, your legion will become incredibly handy. You can use it to eavesdrop on people, given that legions cannot be seen by the regular public. You can also use the chain bind feature to destroy the gates to the astral plane, and you can of course also use your legion to clean up all the red matter around the world. So while yes, Platinum Games are known for their fast-paced, high-paced, high-octane gameplay, Astral Chain does still offer a nice blend, giving you a chance to slow things down a little bit, appreciate the world, take things in, do your police duty, before you then go out and get involved in more combat. There's no way! What good could this possibly be? It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have! It's all up to you, my friend. A blessing from the Legion. Or maybe I should say, a curse. We can't, can't turn, turn back, back now. now. 
I've got to know the whole truth. truth. He's still alive out there. I know he is. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.